Actor Sandra Bullock is mourning the loss of her longtime partner, photographer Brian Randall, as fans look back at their reportedly rocky relationship history. Randall, who was 57, died on August 5th of ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, a rare and incurable condition that affects the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. An accomplished photographer and model, Randall met Bullock while documenting her son Louis's birthday. I found the love of my life. We shared two beautiful children, three children, his, his older daughter. It's the yeah. best thing ever. The couple never married, but Randall was fully integrated into Bullock's life and shared a special bond with her adopted children, according to Closer Weekly. One source told the tabloids in 2019, they don't talk about their relationship status that much, but it's pretty clear what they have is a very special bond. Brian proudly wears a wedding band on his wedding finger, and there's no doubt that he's Louie and Lila's dad. The source also claimed Bullock's children adored Brian. Unfortunately, their sweet family unit was reportedly crumbling well before Randall passed away, according to the rumor mill, at least. Three days before Randall died, Us Weekly ran a story claiming that his relationship with Bullock was in trouble. An insider told the outlet, The feeling is Sandra might be hoping for some type of miracle, that they'll work things out after this long cooling off period. However, the source gave little hope that the couple would reconcile. Over the years, outlets ran multiple stories about the couple's supposed engagement and later wedding, but Bullock's team released statements to people shooting down the narrative in 2016 and 2018. Unfortunately, the issue of marriage supposedly strained their relationship. Bullock divorced Monster Garage host Jesse James in 2010 and has been vocal about not making the same mistake twice. A source told Us Weekly, It's widely known Brian wanted to make things official with Sandra, but she didn't see a need to go down that path. I don't need a paper to be a devoted partner That's and a devoted mother. The couple, however, was supposedly on a better path after spending much of 2022 apart. The source added, Sandra and Brian have always enjoyed their own personal space and can live in separate places for weeks at a time. But last year, they were going through some major problems and friends thought they weren't going to make it. Given some of the other rumors floating around about Bullock and Randall before his death, the whole marriage thing doesn't seem like such a big deal. The seemingly happy couple dealt with a ton of negative gossip surrounding their relationship. Shortly after Bullock got with Randall in 2015, OK reported that Randall was unfaithful to the speed actor. A source told the outlet, Brian kept his ex-girlfriend Paris St. John in the picture as a backup plan. Now he's trying to cover his tracks. It was a little crazy to say, Oh, look, my, that's my ex-boyfriend is dating Sandra Bullock now. The outlet also suggested that Bullock's friends were worried Randall was using her. In late 2022, OK also claimed that the couple had broken up, partially because Randall was finding it hard to come to terms with Bullock being the breadwinner in the relationship. A source shared, Brian's a self-employed photographer. She commands $20 million a movie. They used to go on dates to fancy restaurants and she'd pick up the tab because he couldn't afford to pay it. He began to resent it, and Sandra resented his resentment. In March 2022, Bullock explained why she was taking a break from acting while doing promo for The Lost City. I don't want to create anything that takes me away from just being present. During an appearance on Good Morning America, she shared, I don't want to be doing a lot of things at one time that don't service the one thing that I want to be around, my family. And although Bullock didn't mention Randall, it's clear that she considered him her family too. So it's possible that Bullock hoped quality time together could help them through a possible rough patch they may have been experiencing. Since Randall's passing, the Daily Mail published a video of Bullock and Randall on the day of their vow exchange from 2017, which was said to have not been legally binding. The video featured the couple on a beach in the Bahamas gently swaying to music. A source told the tabloid, they really did this for the children, to kind of seal the deal and show them this was a forever thing. And despite any past tension, Bullock reportedly stayed committed to Randall during his final days. The source added, Sandra kept Brian hidden away in the back of the house. It's so big that you could conceal what was going on with him. But towards the end, she really didn't let people into the home beyond the doctors and nurses.